happening on our next newscast coming up at four. Well, happening now, we're tracking Hurricane Ian as it makes its way inland to the Carolinas after devastating much of Florida. We're taking a live look right now outside at several places. We have Charleston, South Carolina, which is obviously feeling those effects at this hour. And Ian is, of course, starting to make its presence known here in the triad as well. And we have meteorologist Jacqueline Shearer here with the latest on where Ian's path is going. And we can see this is obviously about to be a very, very messy storm. Mm -hmm. And the triad needs to prepare, Jacqueline. Yeah. Absolutely. You can see even these wind speeds starting to pick up. Charleston at this point, we were just looking at Charleston, 53 mile per hour winds, Myrtle Beach, 45, and then here in Greensboro, we've got 29 mile per hour wind gusts. So starting to see those winds pick up already. We've seen rain already this morning, and that's just the beginning of it too. So I want to show you a couple of things that we've got going on here. First, we've got a tropical storm warning for our area, all of these areas shaded in blue. This is for the Piedmont Triad as we go through the day today. It's partially because of wind and it's partially because of rain. That wind side of things is also taken care of by a wind advisory in the mountains and the foothills. They're not under that tropical storm warning, but they are expecting winds to be in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range as we head into the day today through this afternoon into tomorrow morning as well. And our entire forecast area is covered by this flood watch as well. So a very busy day with both the rain, three to five inches expected, and those wind gusts. Gusts could be 50 to 60 miles per hour for us today. Here's a look at Hurricane. Ian right now we've got 85 mile per hour peak winds. We are awaiting that landfall in South Carolina along the coastline, likely near Charleston. After that, though, we are expecting that it will downgrade very quickly. So we'll be seeing a tropical storm and then a remnant low pressure system as we head even to later today with 60 mile per hour winds, though, that's still pretty strong. And remember, of course, that category or storm type that is solely determined by those wind speeds. So the rain will keep coming even after it downgrades moving through our area as that remnant low pressure system and then sticking with us for a while. Here's a look at the possible tracks we're watching here. This is kind of that official National Hurricane Center point where things cut off and then that low pressure system just meanders over North Carolina for a couple of days. So we've got rain starting today lasting through Monday. Here's a look at our local impact timing. We're expecting the heaviest rain and the highest winds to come this afternoon. Overnight, still some heavy rain and strong winds. They'll continue through us overnight into Saturday morning, and then Saturday morning we'll head to see some scattered showers as we head through that time frame. We'll take a closer look at some more of those impacts that we're expecting. Christina. All right, thank you for all of those updates, Jacqueline. We know you're very busy over there in the Weather Center. Well, right now the South Carolina